in baseball, I never batted under 300. There's lots of gold and silver in his life. I didn't have no mentors or nothing. But what Norman Blackwell Sr. is really all about is diamonds. Good job, Dad! Just like the prized ones that are worn, the diamonds he's loved have been formed in the earth. There you go. And some of the C's normally associated with these are present here as well. There's cut, as in making it. Playing ball was just fun to me. I didn't realize that I was that good. Once Blackwell did realize, along came another one of the C's that diamonds are known for, clarity. The clarity that he wanted to play this game forever and where he wanted to do it. And everything was here. You didn't have to go downtown for nothing. There you go, Dad. You just said something interesting about Oak Park. You said everything was here. You never wanted to leave Oak Park. And that is not how people think right. about Oak Park today. Well, this is back in the 40s and in the, in the 50s. Back when the city's first suburb looked and operated very differently than an area fighting to rebound, as many see parts of it today. Oak Park was, was not a, what you call a diverse group here then. There was only a few, few Afro-Americans living here in my area. That's one of the other ways another one of those C's associated with diamonds has played out in Norman Blackwell's life. This time, color. After moving to the area as a child from his native Santa Monica, he fell in love with Oak Park and watched how a depressed economy and then new Highway 99 construction split the neighborhood, making it less desirable for the bulk of his old neighbors. Realtors had to find someone to take their place. They approached him. We have houses here, empty houses here for sale. And that's when the diverse thing started. And with the darkening complexion of the area, Blackwell saw a lack of city investment in the place that he loved. Around that same time in life, color, skin color, came to bear into what could have been his career. Invited to play for the St. Louis Cardinals right out of high school, he turned the offer down after getting a warning about the hostile environment he would most likely be stepping into at the team's training camp in the racist South. A white friend of the family saying, if you went down there to Savannah, Georgia, and performed like you do and everything, they would either hunt, hang you or either shoot you. That pushed him toward a job in plane wheel maintenance at Mather Air Force Base. And as he was growing his family of 13 kids, color came to play again. Oak Park was going through another shift as he and his wife were trying to buy a house. Due to redlining, a real estate practice designed to keep African Americans out of certain areas, a white friend stepped in and made a deal with his brother-in-law. And then the friend sold the house to him. That's how he got in there. And then they came to you. Yeah. Then they, Well, they lived here for a while. Mm -hmm. And then they sold the house to me. Despite those challenges, Blackwell spent decades investing in his neighborhood when others wouldn't. Coaching countless little leaguers, the semi-pro pacemakers, and moving on to where he is now with his senior softball USA team the Sacramento Gold. For 40 years, his commitment to Oak Park in another field <laughs> has been as intense as it is to this one. In between playing ball almost constantly, even at 90 years young, raising a family and working full time. Blackwell's distributed food to the needy from his driveway on 8th Avenue. People start coming from all over. Gold. Roseville, Granite Bay. Blackwells, you know, they've been hitting a home run for Oak Park since time began, and they've marked this community, and we are just so incredibly grateful for the way that they continue to feed and nourish and uh, remind us all to keep on running and not lose hope. Run, hit, and throw. Covering local news that matters. I loved it all. Sincere Tonsil, Fox 40 News.